Often in sports, we miss the dedication, sacrifice, and challenges that is the groundwork of a person's success. We only see the end result, and we marvel at what that person can do. Uh, you know, my journey, I guess, is very simple um, and how I got here, but it was like I said earlier, it really, God had his plan. And I think, you know, he knew what he was doing to get me back. And I'm, I'm just blessed. My mother and father have raised me to be in the church. Um, I went to Southern Baptist Church all my life. And uh, I had faith, but I wasn't always walking faithfully. The foundation of someone's success is often overlooked because as people, we focus more on accomplishments and celebrating their achievements. We believe that the same can be said for ministry, and especially sports ministry. I mean, sports is like a universal language. Everybody speaks, speaks it, and me being able to talk and give and preach the ministry through something that I love and share like-mindedness with a lot of people has, uh, has, has, has truly blessed me and blessed those that I'm around. Basically, I've played softball my whole life, and uh, I had stopped playing softball after I had kids, so a friend of mine uh, knew that I was looking to start playing again, and they invited me to Shepherd of the Hills to play, uh, join the softball league, and uh, that's how I started. When you walk into a gym or onto a field, it is difficult to put your finger on any type of ministry being done. No one is preaching, no one is quoting scripture, and from the surface, the sports ministry looks like any other park or gym around the world. The difference lies in the people. Well, initially, I, I came out here um, pursuing the entertainment business and uh, really had nobody to turn to, nobody to go to, but I've always been an athlete my whole life. So the first thing I, uh, one of my friends mentioned about Shepherd Sports and uh, I wanted to see what it was about. So I came to a uh, service here at um, Shepherd of the Hills and talked about giving back. So I uh, saw the Shepherd Sports Ministry and went in and asked about volunteering and helping out with sports. I am Catholic and I wasn't going, you know, I stopped going to church probably 10 years ago and I wanted to get my kids involved in church like I was when I was little. So, um, you know, that was a big thing. So when I was invited to the sports ministry program, it was like um, a light bulb went off and this is where, you know, I need to get my kids involved because I want one of them to have the foundation and the upbringing that I did as well. The efforts put forth from the staff and the volunteers sets an underlying tone and atmosphere where once you're involved, you see God at every turn. As I came out here and was on more so on my own and had to initiate and build my own faith, uh, since I've been involved with Shepherd Sports and the people around there, my faith has grown tremendously. I've actually been baptized here at the church as well. My life's changed a lot. Um, you know, I attend church regularly. We're involved in different, uh, my kids are involved in different uh, programs besides the sports ministry. Um, it's just, you know, they're learning about God. Um, it's just a whole new, it's totally different than the way it was probably three years ago when we weren't going to church. At the center of any ministry, it is the people that make a difference. The men and women who serve in this ministry understand the value in relationships. And it is through the avenue and common bond of sports that creates opportunities for God to bring people together. Life is, is a competition and you want to be able to you know, be a winner, be involved and be able to compete. So the only way to do that is one foot at a time. So take that first step.